So good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, everyone. And welcome to another edition of Crypto and Coffee. Today has been a crazy day already. My co-hosts are both, uh, one is not feeling well and the other one is traveling on the road. So you guys just have me for the next 30 minutes. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening in the crypto market because let me tell you, waking up and seeing your portfolio drop, it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> let me tell you, there is a pit that comes in your stomach when you wake up and you see thousands of dollars that have been wiped out. But the reality is for those of us who have been educated and those of us who know what's going on and those of us who are aware of the market cycles, we expected this, we expected it. It doesn't make it any easier, y'all. It really doesn't make it any easier, but we actually expected what's happening right now. So what does that mean? Because right now there is a bloodbath out there in those crypto streets, literally, it is a bloodbath. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, which usually seems to run the market, it seems to, everything follows Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin is trending up and you're seeing great gains and it's bullish, then that's where you're going to see all of your gains with your other coins. That's when you start seeing um, Ethereum and, and pretty much everything goes up. But what happens when Bitcoin starts trending down? What happens when we go into a bear market? Now, there have been uh, discussions, whisperings over the last few months that we were heading into a bear market. For those of you guys who are brand new to the crypto market, this you know may be a scary time, it seems like, but it's really, really not. It's a great learning opportunity. But typically, here's what happens in a bearish market. Um, basically, the same things that happen with bears, they hibernate. And so it is expected that we may possibly go into a bearish market with with crypto. And what that means is that we may continue to see more drops. We may continue to see more cryptos, uh, especially a lot of the meme coins potentially going under, who knows. But what we are going to see um, is we're gonna see some millionaires break out from this. Now, does that mean that we're gonna have to wait for the bearish market to go two, three years? It, it's possible. Will you see any gains during that time? Absolutely. But right now, we're, we're right at a moment where it's make or break. Um, it's, it's called the death cross. And uh, so, and look that up. I don't want to get too technical with it, but just kind of take a look and see what's going on in the market right now. This is a great opportunity if you had not already invested in your, what I call your staple, your, your, your staples and your stable coins, which is going to be Bitcoin, that's going to be Ethereum, that's going to be Litecoin, um, ADA, and a few others. This is a great opportunity for you to grab some up because one thing is for sure, we thought we wouldn't see the prices go this low again, but it's definitely happening. Bitcoin touched below $30,000. Now, remember, just a few months ago, at its high, Bitcoin was in the mid-60s. So to see it go down below 30000 in less than a few months would cause somebody to panic. But reality is we know where it's going. And they're still projecting that it's going to happen by the end of this year. So there's a lot of things happening in the market right now. A lot of things um, to pique your curiosity. For me, what it does is it makes me want to learn even more about the market. For other people, where you can see the price of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum just dropping down, it's because it's fear. Fear is really leading this. And you're seeing a lot of people drop out of the market because they don't know what to do. You know, it's sad, but a lot of investors are getting their information just off of social media. They're not taking the time to educate themselves. They're not doing their own due diligence. So they don't really know what to expect. So when they see something like this, they just think, okay, it's time to get out and they go and sell. Well, listen, the worst time to sell because you make your profit or you lose your money when you sell is just to hold on, just hold tight and work through all of this that's happening. Now, getting back to the bearish or bullish market, will we go into a bearish market? 
I don't, I don't know, you know, looking at all of the numbers, it definitely is pointing to that. But at the same time, we have the experts and the predictions being made that we're going to hit over $100,000 this year in Bitcoin, or that we're going to hit over $10,000 to $30,000 this year in Ethereum. So how can they both be right? Um, well, here's my theory on it. And it's a wild one. So just kind of just follow me. I'm not saying I'm an expert on this and I'm not giving trading advice. I'm just giving you my two cents on this. So here's my thoughts on what's going to happen. I think that we're going to see Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, pretty much all of the stable coins and even the meme coins continue to kind of tumble uh, potentially into July, possibly, because we're so close into July. So we're going to see them continue to um, tumble. And then we're going to see some movement happen probably towards the end of July. Now, this is just based off of what I'm looking at on the charts. It looks like we're going to do a lot of tumbling before it makes a recovery. Now, is it possible that it will continue to go downwards? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, anything is possible. Um, Bitcoin or the crypto market is honestly still in its infancy. We are, you know, barely, we're less than 15 years into this. And so it's not like there's hundreds of years of data to be able to support or tell us where the market is going to go over a 10 year period of time because we've only come out of you know, really the first 10 years, we haven't even went <laughs> to our second decade, you know, so we're, we're still um, in our infancy when it comes to cryptocurrency. Now, to me, I really believe that we're seeing some, some crazy momentum happening. And, and it could be because there are so many different coins in the market is flooding the market. But I do believe that we're going to see a resurgence. You know, I don't, I don't believe in my heart that we're going to go into a bearish market that's going to last three years. Now, uh, I know that crypto did that a few years back. You know, I was not in the market then, but I can tell you from everything I've researched, it did a few years ago and it was a very long time. And most people got discouraged and they did the same thing they're doing right now, which is they're selling instead of holding it. And let me give this disclaimer. Cryptocurrency to me, it's just like an investment. I treat it like real estate. I treat it like I would um, anything in my stock portfolio. I treat it exactly the same. I invest for long term. I'm not investing to see how much money I can get in the next two weeks. I mean, did that happen for some people? Absolutely. There was a whole lot of people that came out of um, this last bullish run extremely wealthy, extremely rich. And even off of some of the meme coins, we know Do um, Dogecoin um, went to 72 cents and it was never expected to even get to one penny. So a lot of craziness can happen. But again, we're in uncharted waters. So that's why people tend to say that cryptocurrency is kind of risky. You no, know? and, and, and I wouldn't say that it was risky, but I always tell people whatever investment you make, be it real estate, um, stocks, whatever the case may be, do not put in more than you're willing to lose. Do not put in more money than you are able to sit on for a period of time, because just like any other investment, you may find yourself in a spot where you need to hold on to that investment for several months. You may need to hold on to that investment for several years. I know when the real estate market crashed in 2008, um, I was part of that market. And I can tell you for certain, homes plummeted. You had people who lost $100,000 in their home value almost overnight. And I mean, technically it was a few months, but it was literally a bloodbath out there, very similar to what we're seeing right now. And the people who sold their properties sold it at a, a loss. They sold it um, taking a loss. Um, so they didn't, um, <clears throat> sorry, they did not have um, the ability to foresee what was taking place and the market shot back up. I mean, 10 years ago or 12 years ago when the real estate market plummeted, who would have ever thought that we would have been in a market where people were making, um, paying uh, over $100,000 or $200,000 and, and in some markets, $300,000 for homes. Who would have ever thought in a million years that people would have been um, paying so much over the price of a property just to get in? 
I mean, it's just really insane. And we're talking right now, the market, as far as real estate game, he's, we're not talking about the best of the best homes. Some of these homes are really crappy. You no, know, they're not the nicest looking homes, but you have to take what the market gives you. And this is no different, y'all. This is really no different. If you would have sold your house back in 2008, um, a home where you were maybe struggling to um, keep the value up, right now that house has probably doubled and tripled in value. So I liken that to the same thing with cryptocurrency, except for cryptocurrency isn't attached to anything. So it doesn't have a physical asset attached to it. So that means that it's portable. That means that you can move around. That means that you know, you're know you not stuck just in this one place like real estate with it. And that's what makes it the best investment in the world to me in my eyesight. Now, for those of you guys who are brand, brand new and you have um, not been exposed to any training, I'd like to invite you to work with us. One of the things that's been the greatest um, thing for me is learning, learning why the market is doing this, learning how to control the emotional part of it when investing, learning um, the best uh, projects to invest into. Um, and I've learned all of that by just being in this academy. It has been a blessing. I came, I always say that I came in for education, but I um, ended up with a whole community of people who really have my back, who really want to see the best for me, who really want to make sure that we are profiting financially. Um, and, and then the learning has been outstanding, you know, to be able to um, invest with confidence, especially during this time where the market is so shaky and un uncertain. It feels very good to know that even though I'm seeing some losses that I also know that I'm going to see some gains very soon. And in the past, I was like a lot of other people just emotionally reacting because, you know, who wants to see their account go down? Who wants to see some losses in their accounts? Who wants to see that they're not profiting every day. I mean, quite honestly, I love the days when I wake up and there's, you know, an extra two thousand, three thousand dollars in the account, or you know, a few hundred dollars in the account. Those are the best days. I mean, who who wants to see their account drop? Anything, you know, who wants to see their check? I don't like spending money out my checking account. Who wants to see money drop from out of their financial portfolio? No one does. So we all thrive off of the the gains. But it's when we have to go to the lean times, it's when we have to go to the times where the market is not bearing the fruit that we have to keep watering it. We have to keep, you know, nurturing it. We have to keep, you know, standing still and saying, okay, we know this is coming back for us. So we're not going anywhere. We're just going to hold and we're going to stand firm in it. And I can promise you one thing, a Bitcoin is not going anywhere. Bitcoin, I don't care if it drops down to $10,000 it will shoot back up. It will regain um, the marketplace. That's one thing <laughs> that's certain. So if you are just getting started, get back in touch with the person who put you here and tell them, listen, I need to be educated on this. This is not the time where you want to play around in the market. This is definitely not the time where you want to invest without really knowing what you're investing into. And this is definitely not the time where you want to take your chances off of getting advice off of YouTube. Now, I realize that some of you guys are watching me on YouTube um, and that's okay. I want you to personally connect with me or connect with any of the people on my team and let them know that you want more information because we can provide you with a plug. We can provide you with access to the training because the training is critical, especially at this time. I think I was talking yesterday on our um, crypto coffee session about a young lady who was taking all of her trading information, all of her investment information, she was getting it off of, um, she was getting it off of uh, YouTube and Reddit, I think. She was, basically she was on social media and she was taking all this advice without really knowing what she was doing. And so she was moving her money in and out the market. I call it flipping crypto and doing it at a very rapid rate. And she got caught out there. She got caught out there when, excuse me, the market moved on her too quickly and she didn't have a plan of action. And so she found herself in a spot where she saw her assets depreciating, but because she put them into something that was a lot more risky, um, one of the coins basically just disintegrated. It went, it went to nothing and she lost all of her money in the process. 
Now, the most horrible thing about this is that, you know, it could have been avoided. She could have, um, she could have invested properly. She should have had the, the bulk of her investments into stable coins. She should have had um, the bulk, bulk of her investments and things that weren't going anywhere. I mean, they may fluctuate, but they're not going anywhere long-term, folks. I mean, let's be real. Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Litecoin, you may see some other ones drop off, but these are not going anywhere. They're here to stay, and they're here to stay for a very long period of time. So even if they drop down for a few, uh, be it weeks, be it days, be it months, or even years, one thing you can count on is that it is going to bounce back. I was looking at an article the other day. It was talking about the price of homes back in the year that I was born. And the price of a home, I was born in 1970, the price of a home at that time was 20, right at $24,000. That was the median price of the home. Folks, the price of a home right now, the median price of a home is probably 350, 400,000, depending upon what market you're in and what arena you're in. So cryptocurrency is one of those things, very similar to real estate. It may fluctuate. It may go down for a minute. It may um, depreciate temporarily, but it is always going to appreciate. It is always going to go back up. It is a safe bet, in my opinion. Maybe not the mean coins, but definitely your stable coins. Um, and so if you're looking at the market right now and you're trying to figure out what to do, the first thing I would advise you to do is go get educated. Get yourself educated. Find somebody you can plug into. Um, a trainer, a coach, um, a community, which is exactly what we offer and get some information, learn how the market rub, runs, you know, it's like a relationship, it's going to have its highs and lows and you need to learn when is the best time to get in. Obviously the best time is when it's low, but I'm not for certain that we have hit our lowest point as of today. I'm not for certain that we are at the lowest stage that it's going to get at. We're going to be watching it over the next couple of days. And of course, every day as we see changes, we're going to notify you guys and let you know. But it's really important that you get plugged into some education because this information is, is critical, especially if you want to invest in a market. This is not a time to kind of be out here playing in these crypto streets <laughs> because right now if you're just watching from afar or you have some money invested, it could look like a complete bloodbath. Um, and the reality is, you know, that is what it looks like. It looks like, you know, everything is just plummeting. But for those of us who know what's going on, we're just watching and waiting, watching and waiting, investing, buying more, grabbing as much as possible. Because just like Bitcoin shot up to $63,000 or $64,000, it will most definitely exceed that on this next bull run. And my anticipation is that we're going to see Bitcoin go up to over 100000 And I still believe that it's going to happen this year, but we're going to keep an eye on that. So folks, <clears throat> as I mentioned, my co-hosts are not with me today. So um, we're going to wrap it up in a minute. But what I do want to encourage you to do is to stay focused, to not get discouraged, to not feed into the negativity that you see in the media and plug into training and information and resources that are gonna help you not only grow your portfolio, but grow and become a better person. So guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for being part of our community and we'll see you again tomorrow for another version of Crypto and Coffee. Take care guys.